everyone, Alia here with estherwithalia.com. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're already part of my Aster tribe, welcome back. Today's video is about the lunar eclipse in Sagittarius happening on May the 26th, 2021. Well, the Sagittarius eclipse is upon us. And as usual, with all things Sagittarius, you know, there are always a difference of opinion. Um, there's always the you know, a few different uh, schools of thoughts about this particular lunar eclipse. For some people, it may be uh, anxiety, it may be anxiousness, you know, it may be uh, uh, upsetting uh, moments, and it may be a change, uh, you know, and for others, it may be an optimistic, uh, you know, lunar eclipse where we feel really good, and we feel really um, optimistic and hopeful. So where do we fall into uh, to the scale of things with, with these opinions, with, with these schools of thoughts? You know, I really thought about this and I meditated upon on this as well. And as I was meditating, I the only thing that really kept coming is finding our truth, you know, uh, living our truth and uh, our higher wisdom, higher truth. And this is a perfect time to really uh, hone into that energy, right? Where the reasoning for difference in, uh, of opinion that we have is usually based on the personal truth, right? Our personal truth. Uh, where does it come from? So what I mean uh, by that is anything relating or related to Sagittarius or anything related to the ninth house, uh, you know, activity is where we usually have formulated a belief system, right? A personal truth or uh, that makes sense uh, of our suffering that we may have had in the past, right? And all of a sudden we, we make, uh, we formulate these, these belief systems within our subconscious mind. And uh, that, you know, and we don't want to really create changes because we find that we feel safe where we are. Um, we want to be able to hone into what happened in the, uh, uh, you know, in the full moon, a Scorpio full moon. W what was happening for you? I know that for a lot of people, there are things bubbling up things that were surfacing, uh, you know, we want to be able to hone into those those energies, those thoughts and come up with, uh, okay, so what is not working? How are we feeling, you know, when these things were surfacing? What events were transpiring for all of us? Uh, so I just, I think, you know, it could have been, it could have been very uncomfortable, uh, those feelings, because I know that a lot of my clients, you know, were asking me, why am I feeling this? Why am I feeling so emotional with the Scorpio full moon, right? And this is our chance to now uh, hone into our truth, find our truth. What is our truth, right? What is our higher purpose? What is our uh, higher wisdom, right? Sagittarius is all about that. Um, then we must look at the ninth house because that's, you know, eighth house is what happened with the Scorpio full moon. Now we're coming to the ninth house, which is Scorpio, which is Sagittarius. And we want to make sense of the things that happened, the reasoning behind it, the patterns behind it, right? The ninth house is, uh, as well as the twelfth house, the Sagittarius and Pisces, right? Which are both impacting this lunar eclipse. So we want to think about all of the things that were surfacing, what what was happening, and how is it that we can make sense out of those things now, right? Uh, as I mentioned, uh, so we want to be able to take the holistic approach uh, to to what's happening now. Uh, Pisces, it's all about you know imagination. What is it that's coming into our imagination, our dream world, right? Are we, are we getting some answers? Are we getting some uh, you know some feedback as to what was happening are we is it coming in our dreams right are we are we watching it like a, a movie right pisces it's all about the creative energy how is it that transpiring for you right this energy uh so the ninth house energy which is the sagittarius energy is where we take the broader perspective right we ask why why did the things that have happened happened for us right why is it that uh uh you know why did we have to suffer? Uh, why did we have to go through the discomfort? And this is our time, really, you know, to 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 formulate 
our own personal truth with this with this eclipse and whatever reasoning or belief system we subscribe to uh, it, it's usually based on our personal experience you know what we've what we've gone through and we then hold on to that belief uh, even if it's not really serving us even if it's not working for us right um, and this is really the time uh, to to activate this energy of eclipse and bring in those changes find our our personal truth find our personal higher wisdom right and and make and 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 come up with and deal with and deal with life right deal with life and make sense of the events that are unfolding now with this eclipse now this eclipse is coming up in sagittarius it's important to understand how you feel about everything that has happened how do you feel about this eclipse how are you feeling right now are you feeling you know are you feeling upset are you feeling anxious are you are you uh feeling like you you can you know you feel like you're you can trust this energy or do you feel that you can't trust this energy right that this energy might might uh be completely wrong for you or maybe you know the universe is not really working out in your favor or helping you right or or maybe the universe or you feel maybe the universe is is in your favor whatever you know however you feel maybe you feel a sense of uh, uh paranoia right maybe you feel a sense of comfort maybe you feel a sense of uh you know anxiety uh, whatever that you're feeling at this time this sagittarius uh, eclipse is bringing up lot of feeling surrounding our belief system right and what what we what we believe to be true right um, about ourselves about the world right about the universe and about the higher energy the higher wisdom that's coming and that's available to us right now we can't necessarily see everything right now pisces is a very um you know it's a hidden energy right um and sagittarius it's about truth so we can't really see or fully understand um everything that's happening right now right the interesting thing about this particular eclipse is that uh, the fact that Sagittarius is ruled by planet Jupiter. Now, Jupiter has just moved into Pisces. There's a certain fear that feel we feel of the unknown. Whenever we have to jump into the unknown, we feel, um, you know, subconsciously fearful, right? Uh, and of course, the 12th house energy is also Pisces energy, which is uh, about our subconscious, right? That And that's our unconscious, you know, patterns and behavior. Uh, so when when they're not aligned with our higher truth, we typically get mixed results. We have faith and that we are optimistic, but our subconscious, you know, might have different different outlook, different ideas uh, in Pisces energy where, where there is undercurrent below that we are not quite aware of, you know, that takes a lot of our actions and a lot of our beliefs with the Sagittarius energy. Sagittarius seeks patterns and truth. So this is true uh, in a philosophical and psychological level. But the problem with this is that so much of our thought process is subconscious, right? And then when it's in Pisces, we are already in the unknown territory. So we are fearful in this, you know, we don't see, we cannot spot it. So we get then, we, we then turn back into where we were, right? Uh, but this is the time to really hone into your dreams because you're going to be getting dreams. Maybe we can understand it through therapy. The feelings that are surfacing now, they're showing up and are really aligning with our with our thoughts that, you know, our inner feelings. Now, this eclipse is bringing those feelings, uh, you know, in, in the surface uh, and is surrounding us with, with thoughts. And now we just have to hone into what what is the thought that is really helping us that is serving us now the sagittarius is also squaring um jupiter which is in pisces which is important where your thoughts pattern your belief system isn't lining up with your feelings so jupiter is going into pisces can 
be an incredibly healing time as well other than like of course there will be some fearfulness because of unknownness you know but it's also it's going to be a very healing time because you want to hone into the higher energy of of jupiter and pisces right so this is a great time to to heal ourselves and to heal collectively also a lot of people are going to be going through this process of this is spiritual uh, awakening um, and it is also a process of understanding what lies beneath you know jupiter always expands where wherever it is right so uh when jupiter is in the sign which rules the subconscious mind it can really pull up stuff to the surface like fear uh or hopelessness and how you feel about them how you actually feel about life um is the misalignment between our belief system and how we uh, really feel and by all of this energy that's happening you're not feeling this connection with this energy maybe something below that's stopping you know you from connecting your to your higher self to your higher wisdom to your higher truth right to your faith and to your belief system so because there is a bit of a friction which is the Sagittarius uh, you know and and Jupiter um, uh, square and of course we have a you know opposition to the sun so of course we're going to have this t-square uh you know with this with this eclipse and this t-square is actually questioning uh us to why certain things have happened and why certain things are still happening what is it, what is it that we can do to now feel safe within our environment, within our belief system? How is it that we need to bring these changes into our subconscious mind in order for uh, them to surface, in order for them to serve us? There are so many things that we need to now let go of. And I think this eclipse is really going to help us uh, hone into these energies and find uh, that, you know, that courage, that feeling of, okay, wanting this change, but now, now how is it that we're going to do this by taking actions to bring these belief systems into our, our world uh, where we would feel uh, optimistic and hopeful, right? So this Sagittarius eclipse is bringing that kind of stuff, how you feel about the future. Let's not forget the Sagittarius is also a very future oriented sign. So in terms of, you know, your future about the eclipse, how hopeful you feel, what you believe in, what you subscribe to, and also uh, what feelings might be coming up from the surface, right? In particular, with this aspect uh, to Jupiter, pay attention to your dreams. Again, I mean, I'll, I'll emphasize where they might show you how you're feeling on a deeper subconscious level, right? Um, and when you listen to your dreams and when you play those dreams out, you know, again, um, honestly, uh, those little bits of, you know, analysis and interpretations about, uh, you know, your dreams, oftentimes you can see what's going on below, right? And see how that um, energy, that information that you gather, right, um, is processing in your in your daily on your everyday life and and how hopeful you are about uh your goals and your aspirations this energy is really going to help us and provided provided that we hone into it provided that uh, you know we we have trust in it right sagittarius is about trust sagittarius is about um truth you know um so how is it that we're feeling right now how is it that we can encourage ourselves to know that whatever that is transpiring right now it is for our higher self our higher good but but the good thing about this is that we have help we have so much assistance with this energy with the eclipse energy with jupiter with even saturn you know um, being in aquarius right where we need to find responsibility what is our responsibility and you know with saturn being retrograde now we are going back to thinking where do we need to restructure 
right? All of this, where do we need to restructure our belief system, ourselves, um, collectively, individually? How do we need to take responsibility for ourselves? Because this is going to go on for a few months, this, this uh, retrograde with Saturn. We have this incredible opportunity with now eclipse happening, which is, of course, the energy is going to last for the next six months with Saturn being retrograde, with Pluto being retrograde. Power you know, there's power behind this. There's restructure behind this. And of course, now um, Mercury also going retrograde. What does that mean? Our mind, right? Our thought frame, we have to go back. We have to uh, revisit, uh, reevaluate, rethink about everything that has transpired with the last full moon in Scorpio. Uh, and with the last few months, right? Uh, the whole of like uh, six months when we had the last uh, eclipse in December, what has transpired? Now, we have already gone through the motion. We have got already gone through the, uh, the ugly, right? All of the thoughts that came about, still coming about, surfacing, really um, emotional, disturbing. Now we need to make sense out of it what do we mean by that how do we feel about that how do we uh, seek help from this energy or these energies that are here to help us uh, you know how do we ask for this help we need to meditate on this you know I know that we always meditate on the new moon and uh, you know uh, seeds of intention but we also need to meditate on the full moon the culmination you know and give gratitude of what has transpired and what is now ending for us right the ending is only going to begin uh, bring the beginning right uh, uh, of, of, of our of our new uh, belief system but we need to trust in the sense that the belief system that is not working how is it that now we have uh, to now release those things you know let go of those things and bring back you know our truth our higher truth our new truth of who we are today in the present not who we were you know, it may have worked for us then, but we are here today. Today is that present that we need to hone into. And all of these energies are helping us. So please deal with those feelings because you can't bring, you know, you can't bring positivity if you don't deal with the negative thoughts that you have or the thoughts that are not serving you anymore. We always say, okay, hone into the positivity. Yes, you, you should and you must, but You've got to deal with the ugly first, right? You've got to deal with the, the um, uncomfortable first uh, before you can look into the positive of it, right? And then all of a sudden, when you deal with the the uh, the uncomfortable, the ugly, the, the things that do not serve us, that give us that, you know, that makes us feel that we're safe, but we're not because we're dealing with the misery, but we don't want to get out of the misery because we feel unsafe because it's unknown. Uh, you need to step out now. You need to step out of that misery. You need to now take steps and be responsible and move forward and forward momentum, right? Sagittarius is only about forward momentum, future. So hone into those energies and find yourself, find your truth, find your purpose, find your, you know, your future, find your higher wisdom, because that is the only way that you're going to really, uh, uh, prosper right with this energy that is the only way that you're going to get into the next realm of of who you are and it's really exciting it's happy it's hopeful it's optimistic i'm super excited to talk to you about this and give you this information because honestly could not sleep last night because all of these energies were coming to me and i just had to like i was compelled to to talk to you about this please take advantage of this amazing energies that are coming our way because that is going to be serving you so well so incredibly well so that is what's coming up for this eclipse for me um you know that's what i thought i wanted to share with you and i hope that i hope that it serves you so with that remember to smile and know that you're absolutely beautiful take care for now i will see you next week bye